Um, well, we, when we first toured it 20 years ago, we did. We only played. We didn't do the kind of the slower songs. So we only there's about four songs we'd never played before. So we. Um, so th this is the first time we've played it in its entirety. So it's it's not. I mean, we normally play quite a high energy rock and roll set. So obviously with Screaming Delicate, there's some real kind of, you know, moody, atmospheric stuff. It's not all out kind of dance music. It's, it's, it, again, it's very eclectic. So it's good for us to play kind of quite soft music and quite trippy music, you know, compared to what we've been doing the last, you know, five years or something. I just think you just, it's not like to repeat ourselves if we can, you know. Uh, I mean, we're kind of, I mean, by now, at our age, we should be able to play okay. So, you know, we're, we're good, I think we're good musicians. We, we play well together, but we've always been, you know, open to kind of new technology. And we've always brought in, you know, guests. To, I mean, you could just do a Screamer, we could have done a Screamer Delicate too, you know, but we were, by then we'd moved on, you know. So, we're, you know, you, you, uh, you change with, you hope, you've hopefully you change with time, you know, so you just try and, you know, it's just good to try different things out. Sometimes it works better than others, you know, but it's, it's we've always been quite experimental, really. Um, well, obviously, it's become, you know, this, I mean, in the, in the old days, there was only so many, there was kind of not a handful, but there weren't that many, you could count on two hands. Now you can count on two hands each weekend how many festivals there are. Obviously, um, people want to see good live music, and it's almost like a rites of passage now. Certain festivals for young kids, a very young crowd. I remember Glastonbury in the eighties, you know, when it was full of you know, travellers and kind of muse, musos and just uh, people just off their heads. But I mean, it still can be like that. But um, it's obviously it's become corporate, it's almost Glastonbury, I mean, we, you know, I'm not saying one particular festival, but it's all big, it's big business, isn't it, you know, you know, that's that's what happens. Yeah. I mean, it's good that for, for a musician, it's great that, uh, that people want to see live music and that there are so many festivals available to go to, you know, so it's, yeah, if you like festivals, it's, the summer's a good, a good time, you know.